Hello beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a trying new makeup video. I have a bunch of makeup that, that I've been purchasing and I have not tried, so I want to try it on camera for you guys today. So this is a trying new makeup slash first impressions video. I have makeup from Revolution. I actually like a lot of Revolution makeup products, so I have a new primer, a new mascara, and a new foundation from them. I also have some new liquid blushes from them. The only thing that I have that I'll be using today that's not affordable is this new Danessa Myricks brush. This is the Yummy Face 1.0 brush. I can't wait to try it. Hopefully you guys like first impressions slash trying new makeup videos. I already applied um, a serum and a moisturizer. I'm going to just do my brows off camera and I'll be back to start the eye look. Okay. The last couple of videos I used these Rebel palettes by Juvia's Place and I'm going to use this Rebel Honey Palette. This four color palette. I know I tried it a long time ago. I do not remember what it was like but we are going to try it today. And yellow is my favorite, favorite color. Okay, I'm going to go into this top color right here. Okay, so we all know that yellow is one of the hardest colors to really get color payoff. So let's see how this works out today. It's gonna take a lot of building up, but we're gonna set the lid with this color. And I'm gonna set both lids just so we can have the base set. I already like the color so far. And what really made me think about this yellow palette this morning was I was watching my interview with the City Girls and I just love JT's makeup. Right, I love her makeup and I can relate to her because she is a chocolate girl. I love her makeup like 95% of the time when I see her makeup. I'm like, I love, love, love her makeup. So we're going to do a yellow eye today. Yeah, her yellow was more like a neon yellow, but we're going to do this golden yellow. It's looking pretty already. Like I really like it already. I just want to blend it out all over the lid. Okay, I'm going to go into this deeper yellow and go into the corner of the eye and just see if I can make it a little deeper. It's so pretty. This one is more of a mustard yellow. The other one was more of a, like a golden yellow to me. This one definitely has more of a mustard look, but I love it. I'm gonna go back into that yellow color. This is the A11 by Morphe and Ariel, and this is the GH36 brush. I'm just gonna take the brighter yellow and go on the lid again. I'm just stamping this yellow on the lid. I'm going into the deeper yellow one more time. Should we try the darker brown? I'm gonna use this small tapered blending brush by Sigma, the E45. Now this is like a chocolatey brown or like a rust color. Yeah, that's pretty. Love that. I know I keep saying it, but first of all, yellow's my favorite. <laughs> And I just think it looks so pretty. That is our eye look. I'm gonna put this black liner on by NYX. I don't know why I always feel like I need to put a liner on. Okay, so this is the yellow liner by Juvia's Place. The color is called Sunshine. I don't like this brush. If I'm not mistaken, this is part of the Garden of Juvia's collection. To me, that just messed up our whole eye look, but we are going to make it work. It's definitely weird looking, but I still love the yellow. Let's try this mascara before I put my lashes on because I have it and I wanna try it. Okay, so this is the Makeup Revolution of London 5D Lash Pal Extreme Volume Mascara. It says dramatic, multiplied false lash effect explosive length and then it has a before and after picture on it okay this retails for ten dollars but it's on sale for seven dollars right now it's called the makeup revolution 5d lash power mascara max volume vegan and cruelty free and it's thickening it got five star reviews it says it promotes a fake lash effect takes your lashes to the next level this thickening mascara contains an intensely volumizing formula that is specifically designed to instantly help add length to eyelashes while encouraging a fuller finish presented an innovative 
push cap packaging. This volume mascara is paired with a thickening applicator brush, seeking to evenly distribute product to each lash. When I first got it, right, I was like, oh my God, the top is broke. <laughs> cause it, it pushes down to open. I definitely know I can't use this on my lower lashes cause the brush is very big. This is what the package looks like. So you get a nice amount, almost a half an ounce of mascara. So let's see. You know what my lashes look like. You can see the difference on this eye and on this eye, but I want you to look at it close. So <laughs> when I say, do you see a difference? I want you to let me know in the comment section if you see a difference. And if you made it this far in the video, I hope that you will subscribe to the channel and also give the video a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. I mean, I definitely see something. I wish the brush wasn't so big though, so I can put some on my lower lashes, but I definitely see a difference. Can you see? Look at this eye and look at this eye. It's definitely a difference. Wow, I'm actually impressed. Nice. Okay, okay, mascara. You see that? It makes a difference. I don't wanna put too much on because I don't want it to get that spidery eye look. This mascara is definitely thickening. It definitely does something. Now I hope I don't have a problem getting my lashes on. And I wish I wouldn't have put that liner on because we would have really been able to see. Okay, 5D Lash Pal. I see a pal. Okay, so I'm gonna go off camera and put my lashes on and I will be right back. So I'm back. These are the lashes. I love the eye look. I think this yellow looks so, so pretty. Okay, so I'm back with the Revolution IRL Skin Filter Pore Blur Primer. This is 0.74 ounces, so it's almost one ounce of product. It retails for $24, it mattifies, and it has vitamin E. It says, drop the filter, introducing the newest addition to the IRL range. I don't know if you guys remember when I reviewed the IRL foundation. I loved it. I'm gonna put the thumbnail on the screen so that you can go back and watch that video. Then I reviewed the IRL concealer because that came out next. I love both of those products. I'll put a picture of the video, one with the primer and one with the concealer. Okay, yeah, so anyway, now they have come out with a pore blur primer. I'm excited about this. I hope it's as good as the other two products. A lightweight blurring and mattifying primer aiming to minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines to create the perfect base for your foundation. This silky smooth formula is oil free and enriched with vitamin E. Paired perfectly with our Makeup Revolution IRL Filter Foundation and IRL All Day Filter Fixing Spray to achieve a real life filter on your base. What more could you want? It says apply two pumps to clean dry skin, gently massage into your skin, focus on the areas you'd like a blurred effect, the nose, the forehead, smile lines, and of course my cheeks. <laughs> Yeah, it says that it is vegan and cruelty free, suitable for all skin types. So we're gonna try it and see. I'm gonna take two pumps, like it says. It's new, I never tried it before, so. Come on now, come on out, okay. It does not have a fragrance, that's wonderful. And it has an orangey color, sort of like it's color correcting a little bit. I already moisturized my skin. You can see it has a very moisturized look. Thank God that the eyeshadow that I used did not have a lot of fallout. I didn't have to clean anything under my eyes. It does have like a kind of oily, like a slight silicone-y kind of feel. It's a little weighted. Like it doesn't feel heavy, but you can feel it going on. It definitely has a silicone-y kind of feel. Feels smooth on the skin though. I just wanted to pat in the areas that I have texture. It looks good on the skin though. The skin, it, it gives it a nice natural look. I like it. Nice hydrated. Very nice. I'm going to tell you guys about this pore blurring full coverage foundation that we're about to try. I am excited because when I did my haul, it looked really, really nice. Like it looked like it was gonna be really nice on the skin. So I can't wait to try it. I thought this was IRL also, but it's just called Matte Based Pore Blurring Full Coverage Foundation. This foundation is only $4.90. It has four stars. It has 21 shades. And it says, you've asked, we listen. Matte is back. Meet your matte made in heaven 
with our latest addition to the Revolution Foundation family, Matt Bates Foundation, designed with Team Matt Mantra in mind because not everyone can do Dewey. This foundation offers a mattifying solution for oily, blemish-prone complexions or for those who simply prefer a matte finish. Oh, it says 24 shades. Okay, I only see 21 on the page, but it says 24 shades. Launching in 24 skin true shades and a range of undertones, this full coverage foundation boasts a long wearing matte finish that still manages to feel lightweight and comfortable on the skin while diffusing the appearances of pores for a blurred airbrush like finish. Designed in a sleek travel friendly tube with pin worthy rose gold accents. Okay, we're gonna try it and see. I may do a wear test, depends on how my day goes, because I wanted to film two different videos, but right now it's 127, just in case I do decide to film a wear test. Okay, so I'm excited because it looked very pretty. It is definitely a easy to travel tube. So is this primer that we just tried. Like this could definitely go on your overnight or weekend bag. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit out on my hand. That is the color, very neutral. It looks a little light for me, but we're gonna try it and see. It has like a little perfumey kind of smell. And I guess this primer has probably been on like maybe three or four minutes. This is the new brush by Danessa Myricks. They've been raving about this brush, so we're gonna see today how this brush works. It definitely has a full coverage. It's definitely a little bit light for me. I could have probably went a little bit darker, but maybe it may oxidize, so we're gonna see. Very neutral. It's not super, super light. We definitely can work with it, but I think that this color may be a little bit lighter than the concealer that I have. Okay, it's covering up my hyperpigmentation under my neck, which is a good thing. I definitely could have went with a darker shade, but it's looking gorgeous on the skin. Do you see how flawless and smooth the skin is looking? Like it's so smooth and the coverage is so full that it could be a concealer as well because it covered a lot. The brush applied the product beautifully. It's like it doesn't pick up. Look at the brush. You don't even really see product on there. Whatever it's made out of, it does not harbor product. It's like it puts the product on and that's it. I still feel like a little wetness on the brush, but now I feel a little itchy on my face, right? I didn't have the itchiness before this foundation, but I do feel a little itchy in this area here. Maybe it'll go away. That's what the color looks like on the back of my hand. It's really not super, super light. It's very neutral. I'm gonna go into, even though it's drugstore, it's one of my favorite concealers. Like, I didn't say one of my favorite affordable concealers. I said one of my favorite concealers. I'm gonna put this IRL concealer under my eye. I love the doe foot applicator. It makes it very easy to place the product. See how I said <laughs> It's so funny because the foundation is almost the same color as the concealer, which is not a super bad thing, but, and I have a lighter concealer, but we definitely don't need that. Now, I have three colors of their Revolution Super Dewy Liquid Blush. It comes in a squeezy tube. This one is called You Had Me At First Blush. Then I have this one that's called Blush Me Up. That's this one, Blush Me Up. Then we have Totally Blushed. I'm gonna swatch them really fast for you guys. That's Totally Blushed. I think I tried one other liquid blush before, and it was the... I want to say like a CoverGirl blush or something like that, but it didn't stick well. And I was like, oh my God, what is going on? I'm testing these blushes out because I want to use one while I'm blending in the products. That is the three colors. I'm already leaning towards this one right here called, what did I say this one was called? Blush Me Up. Let me show you. That pink is gorgeous. And this hot pink is even more gorgeous. The other one blended in is very skin-like. Then you have the pink and then you have the hot pink. I wanna blend out this concealer, but I wanna put a blush right up there. I think I've gotta go into this one right here. Blush me up. I'm only doing this because I see people use the blush what it blended out their concealer. So we're gonna try it and see. It's like a mauve pink color. We're gonna use this concealer brush. This is the E8 brush, the Morphe E8 brush. And we're just gonna blend out this concealer. Just look how beautifully that concealer blends in and look how much drying time it gave me. 
I was able to show you guys the colors, think about it, and it's still just the right consistency to blend out. I'm gonna blend this out first and then go into the blush and then come back with it. Look at how beautiful that IRL No Filter Concealer looks under the eyes. It's gorgeous. I just love this concealer. I'm gonna blend this in now. Like, do we see it? I don't see it. It's there a little bit, I guess. It, it is there a little bit. I think we need to put a little bit more. You know me and blush, like I love, <laughs> I love a good blush. It definitely blended in. I'm gonna tell you what it says about this super dewy liquid blush, let's see. Okay, so this blush is only $4.90. It has seven shades. It doesn't really say anything about it. It just has reviews. It has five, it has five stars down the page. I like it. I think it's pretty. The color is pretty. You don't see like a whole lot of color payoff, but you do see some. The color is very, not close to my skin, but it blends in beautifully. Like. Just look at that. And this is $5. And if you get it on sale on their site, you probably could get it for less than $5. But just look how beautiful that shade is on my skin. Love it, love it, love it. But again, look at how this concealer is just beautiful on the skin. Everything looks beautiful. The foundation, even though it's not my exact color, the concealer is gorgeous. The blush is beautiful. And of course, we love the eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this powder from She Glam, cause I don't have a powder from them. And I'm gonna set under the eyes with this She Glam Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo in the color Smooth Sand. This powder is nice, very nice. I really love the yellow eyes, like I really do. Do you see how much powder I put under my eyes and how it's not getting cakey? Like, I'm going under it again and it just looks beautiful on the skin. Gorgeous, smooth, and I like the fact that it's a matte foundation but it does not look dead matte. It has a nice dewiness to it, do you see that? Okay, so we're going to use the cream bronzers from Juvia's Place. So I debuted these bronzers in my last video. This is the Juvia's Place Cream Bronzer. They're new to Juvia's Place. They've been out maybe like two to three weeks. This is the color Amber, and then we have the color Cocoa, which we're gonna use Cocoa on our cheeks, and we're gonna use Amber to contour our nose. Only because Amber's lighter, so let's go in with this Cocoa. We're gonna use another E8 brush. This E8 brush, they don't make anymore. I think they have a vegan brush that took the place of it. I really am enjoying this cream bronzer. They have one color that's darker than this, and I wanna say this comes in eight shades. So this is like the seventh to the darkest one. But it gives a nice amount of bronze to the skin. Yeah, this foundation has like a pink kind of like pinky undertone, but it still looks beautiful. You know what, it's not the foundation that I'm looking at. The foundation is neutral, but I'm looking at that pink blush, that mauve blush on my cheeks, and I just think it's gorgeous. Like, I think it looks beautiful. This Juvia's Place bronzer, it retails for $18. It's very lightweight going on. It has just enough color payoff. It's not a super deep bronzer. Like, I've had some that are deeper than this, but it just looks gorgeous. It, it gives a nice amount of definition to the face. That's what I'm gonna say. Just look at that, how pretty that is. And we're gonna put some bronzer up here. Very, very nice. Just the right amount of payoff. Love that. Look how pretty that looks. Okay, I'm going under here with it also. Because, you know, we like to slim out this double chin until we get rid of it. I'm working on it, slowly but surely. Slow and steady <laughs> wins the race. I really hope that Danessa Myricks comes out with some more brushes. I love that brush. I love the fact that I didn't have a bunch of product build up in that brush. I'm gonna show it to you again. Look how pretty that is. Love that, just enough. Do you see how beautiful, like I'm, I can't get over how beautifully smooth and poreless that this skin looks. And this is a $4.90 foundation. $4.90 and it's gorgeous. Oh my God, I'm in love. <laughs> I'm in love with this 
foundation so far. Like it makes me really wanna do a wear test because I wanna see how long my skin is gonna look beautiful like this. This is the color amber and we're going to place it first on our nose. It's like every time I try a Revolution product, I have been very, very satisfied. That is gorgeous. Just like the perfect contour color. It's not too dark. And just look how beautifully it blends. Just gorgeous. That's the amber color. I'm gonna go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. And I'm gonna set under my eyes with this powder. I love this powder. This is a good powder. I wish they would come out with other colors. This color actually blends in with all complexions right now. Like it blends in, it has like a pinky tone, but it's beautiful. So we're just gonna set under our eyes with it. So pretty. And I'm gonna set down the center of my nose. It's so finely milled. I wanna say this powder is like $10.99, but it's always sold out on their site. Like it's just very good. It blends in with every skin tone. And it is a beautiful powder. I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder and set the rest of my face with this powder. That's what it looks like. This is the dark. This is a luminous powder. It has a nice chocolatey color. I love that color. I wish that the Hourglass powder was even close to this color. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the sheen in the powder. It has a lot of sheen to it, like a very luminous tone. Is it looking a little patchy? I'm gonna set under this neck with this powder too, because we don't want it to come off. I definitely see like, I don't know, something something happening here and we're gonna go on this forehead with this powder okay i'm just gonna quickly do under my eyes with the palette that we used and go from there this is the mac i don't know what it says this i had it so long that it doesn't say anything i think it's a 245 brush if i'm not mistaken i'm gonna go in to this rust color yeah that looks pretty I love this color and I love the color pale. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It's like the color has so much of a yellow undertone that I don't even really need to go under my eye with another color because this one, you could see the yellow in it. Like you could see the yellow tones in it. I like this color. I think it's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna see if I could take this color right here, that shimmer, and put it in my waterline. I'm just never disappointed with Juvia's Place eyeshadows and the best thing about their shadows to me is it has so many nude colors right so many browns that show up on darker skin tones you have a lot of palettes that the browns don't show up but their palettes it just shows up and I just love it if you are of the darker persuasion you can go in and use their palette like if you want to do a one color eye look and you just want to have something to put on your eyes it's just beautiful I just love their variations of the different browns that they have they have red undertones they have neutrals it's just beautiful I just love what they are doing for women of color not to say that their palettes don't work for everybody but I just love that for so many years we have been searching for different shadows to show up and now we have such a plethora of shadows thanks to Juvia's Place. I don't have to buy a palette that I want to try for $70 that I have to take back to the store because the colors don't work for me. So not only are they affordable but they have great color payoff so I just had to say that about Juvia's Place because I really do love even the yellow palette the honey palette showed up. I have another honey palette that if I did a side-by-side -side comparison, you would be like, wow, really? Yeah. I'm gonna go under my eye with this mascara. I loved that mascara, but I just need a smaller brush because that mascara is not gonna show up. It's gonna be all over my face. Not that it won't show up. This is the essence. Lash Princess, full lash effect. I just love this, especially for my under eyes. Do you see the luminosity in my skin? It's definitely glowing, and that's from the e.l.f. powder. I'm gonna go in with this powder and just kind of tap everything in. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever used this on my face. Do you see how much luminosity this powder is giving? Just look at that whole line right there. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot of shimmer in the powder. 
Now the medium one didn't have that much shimmer. You didn't see it like that. I'm just looking at how this powder is leaving like a halo over my face. It's definitely a nice powder, but I think I will use it as a finishing powder. I don't think that I want to set my face with it. Yeah, these are some long lashes. Okay, so it looks like I have a mask on. Do you see that? So the foundation still looks a little light. Skin looks gorgeous though. Like it's very smooth. I'm gonna spray with, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Game Up Shield Me Setting Mist because it's right here. I used it the other day, but I actually love this setting spray. I don't know if this setting spray is still out because it was part of a collection like last year, but it is a really nice setting spray. I love these eyes. Okay, so this is the new Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer Contour Palette. I can't wait to use it because I love this powder right here. I love it. I bought it as a bronzer, but online it looked like it was dark enough, but it looks like they actually made something that's dark enough now, so I can't wait to try this. It has three different colors in it. It says contour, bronze, and highlight. So I'm going to just swatch it. Their products are so buttery. Okay, I could set my under eyes with that. And I could, I don't know, do something with that. Use it as a powder like I used the other one. And then this one, I think I may actually be able to bronze with it. We're going to see right now. I like this brush right here for bronze. And this is the Morphe V106 brush. The V is for vegan. Okay. I really do not like the glow that the e.l.f. powder left on my skin. Do you see it? It definitely has a bronzy look. I don't know that I like that. We're gonna see how it looks at the end. They actually, thank you Physicians Formula. I wanna say this is like the first bronzer that they have that actually shows up. Like bronzer, contour. I'm excited. First of all, their products smell wonderful. Like candy. Like you just wanna be like, I want whatever candy this smells like. I need a piece of it. <laughs> That's how good it smells. It's, it's just like a sweet caramel corn or something. It just has a really beautiful smell. I love the color of this bronzer, but contour, whatever you want to call it. I love the color of it. That is so pretty. So pretty. I like that. This palette comes in two colors. I'm gonna say like a medium and this one is dark. Contour, this is contour two. So it's contour two and contour one. But I think it's beautiful. And I really will not set my skin with that powder again. It actually works good under the eyes. I didn't use it for under the eyes today, but I don't like it for my face because I see what it did and I don't like it. Everything is looking good, guys. Everything is looking beautiful. So I'm going to go in with this Juvia's Place Volume 1 Blush Palette and I'm going to use this color right here. It's so pretty. It kind of, not that it matches what I have on, but it was, it's sort of in the Marby family, like the blush that I put on. So that's what we are doing right now. This blush is so pretty. So pretty. When I tell you like I love every Juvia's Place blush duo that I have because the colors are just so gorgeous. Now I'm going to go in with the lighter the peach color and just put it here. Just give a little, come on peach, come on peach. Do we see the peach? I don't really think we do. All right, I'm gonna go in with this brush right here. This is the Morphe M449. and see if we can get, yeah. See how that peach is showing up now? This looks just as good as the blush that I put on from Givenchy. It has the same color tones in it. That same peachy, mauve kind of look. Yeah, look at that blush. <laughs> Some people gonna say it's too much blush, but I love blush. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Do you see that? Okay, I'm just gonna go over with this powder just a little bit, just a little bit to tone it down. I love it, it looks gorgeous. I am gonna put a little teensy bit of highlighter on. When I say a little bit, like I'm really going light with it today because I feel like we have a lot going on on our face. This is the Precious Petals. I feel like I need more highlighter. I just love highlighter. And I'm trying to be light-handed with it. I'm sorry, I tried. <laughs> it just wasn't doing it for me. I needed a little bit more. Yeah, okay, I probably could have did something with a little more, like a little golden undertone. But this is all right, this is good. Just like this, not too much. It's beautiful, I love it. Just a little bit on the tip of the nose. I 
I feel like I need more highlighter on. Let me do a lip real fast and then I have to hurry up because I did not know. I have a zoom in 10 minutes. What do I have to put on the lips that's new? Okay, I'm going to try these two colors right here. This is the Maybelline Matte Ulta Matte Lipstick. So I'm going to use this. This color is more coffee. And this one is more caramel. This is one of my favorite NYX glosses, NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. This is the end of a brush. I hate brushing. That looks pretty. I'm gonna go in and put an inner corner highlight. Okay, I like that. And I actually think I wanna use a little bit of that on my cheeks, just a little bit. It's this pretty gold shimmer color. I was trying not to do highlight, but I feel like I need it. I just need it. It wakes up my whole look. Just look at the difference that highlighter made. It's so gorgeous. Just look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I tried not to do highlighter, but just look at the difference in what that did to my face. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna spray my face with this Morphe Continuous Mist Spray. This is the old one, they have a new one. This is the older one. Okay guys, it's 2.27 and I have a zoom that I have to go and do. I wanna do a wear test because I think this makeup looks beautiful. I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna do my hair, I'm gonna do the zoom and I'm gonna come back and give you my thoughts on this makeup. But as of right now, I think it looks gorgeous. So I will see you guys as soon as I'm done. I hate rushing. But I have to go and do that and then I'll come back and give you my thoughts on everything. Okay guys, I'm back and this is the final look. I think everything looks gorgeous. I want to say we had this makeup on like 2.30. So it's like an hour and a half. It was completed. This is what the makeup looks like. It looks gorgeous. It is... Okay, it's 4.06 p.m. And the skin still looks matte. It looks gorgeous. Definitely full coverage. Everything looks wonderful. Look how smooth the skin looks. Everything looks wonderful. And it's been an hour and a half since we finished the makeup. And this is a less than $5 foundation. Okay, so let me just go over quickly everything that we used on our face. First, we started with this Revolution Makeup IRL Skin filter pore blur primer this primer is everything i don't know if it's the primer i don't know if it's the foundation but it's gorgeous on the skin from the time i put this primer on my skin was smooth it was beautiful and it's pretty poreless i mean just look at how beautiful the skin looks there's a lot of products that we use today so i'm going to try to move very quickly okay so then we use the Revolution matte base. This is color number 13.5. I hope I said that during the video, but it's number 13.5 and this is a pore blurring full coverage foundation. It's definitely pore blurring. It's definitely full coverage. The color was a little bit off. It was a little bit light for me, but I think that we made it look pretty good. I'm loving this. Less than $5. You can't go wrong with that. These Makeup Revolution products are sold at Ulta. They're also sold on their site. And I'm sure that there is probably other places that you can get it, but I know Ulta and I know Makeup Revolution. So yeah. Then I used this, the Revolution IRL Filter Finish Concealer. I love this concealer. This is not the color that I used. Okay, I think I used this one, 13.5, which is actually, I didn't even realize that this is the same color as the foundation 
Remember I was like, oh, it's, this, it's almost the same color, but it is the same color. This is C13.5 as well. They're not the same exact color, but very, very close. It gave a nice brightness and a nice smoothness under the eye. Do you see how flawless my skin looks? Like my skin looks gorgeous. It looks beautiful. It looks smooth. It looks poreless. Like everything just looks like velvety. I, I love these products. Like I always love the IRL foundation and the IRL concealer, but that primer, I don't know if it's the primer or the foundation, but they both look gorgeous. Then I use this Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder to set my under eyes. It did an excellent job. I love this powder. If you guys don't have this, I definitely recommend this powder. It only comes in this color, which is like a pinky kind of color, but it's it's gorgeous. It, it just looks beautiful on the skin. I use the She Glam Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. I didn't use the bottom powder, but I did use this top powder to set my under eyes. So I used it in the place of my Charlotte Tilbury, and it did just as good as that powder, maybe even better. Look how smooth and creaseless my under eyes look. Gorgeous. Then I used this e.l.f. setting powder to set my face. I don't love this powder for setting my makeup. This will be a good finishing powder. It's definitely not a good powder for setting your makeup because it leaves a very shimmer kind of cast on the face and although I love shimmer I want it in the spots that I want to put it in not all over my face but the skin does look beautiful I went over it with this physicians formula butter bronzer what I didn't like about this powder let me just go back to it it, it was very luminous but it was also very patchy it wasn't smooth on the skin so that's why I didn't like it because it, it kind of shined it, it kind of shimmered in some spots and then it, it I didn't love it this powder I love this is the physicians formula butter bronzer this is the darkest color that they have right now I love this powder I use it in place of my Dior backstage powder I love it it's just a gorgeous gorgeous powder and it smells wonderful I use this liquid blush by revolution which is the super dewy blush in blush me up this is a very pretty mauve color. This is what they look like on the skin. That is the color that I have on. Then that's a hot pink and that is like a, I don't know, like a corally deep pink. Anyway, it's beautiful on the skin. It gave a nice amount of color payoff and $4, like less than $5. I think it was like $4.60 and I have it in three colors. I use their 5D Lash Pal Volumizing Mascara. This is by Makeup Revolution. This was seven, either 10 or $7. Gorgeous. When I tell you it made such a difference on my lashes and not many mascaras do that but this right here ten dollars worth every dime i'm definitely going to use it this will be a good like everyday mascara if you don't want to wear lashes it really made a difference i mean you guys saw it in the video if you like the way the mascara look can you leave me a comment and let me know what you think about the mascara did you see a difference in my lashes once i used this mascara i know i did okay then i use the juvia's place cream bronzers i have it in the color amber and in the color cocoa this one is a little bit lighter let me show you what it looks like I use this to contour my nose with and then I use the cocoa to bronze the rest of my skin I thought the color was very very nice I think the formula is wonderful it goes on very smooth very lightweight you don't feel that it's there and it blends in very nicely definitely recommend these <laughs> I use this brush by Danessa Myrick. Do you see how it looks like there is no product on it? This is a really nice brush. This is her first brush that she came out with. It's a foundation brush and it is very, very good when it comes to applying product on your face. I used it to apply the foundation and it did not grasp onto the product like you could see it looks like no product is in this brush I didn't wipe it off or anything I just used it on my face it's a very very nice brush now this I definitely recommend I like a brush that doesn't absorb all of your product and it's mostly on your face wonderful oh what do I have on my lip I have the Maybelline the Ulta matte lipsticks and more coffee more caramel and I have the NYX Madeline lip gloss on my lip I don't know where I put them at I was rushing because I was going to do my, my zoom but anyway this is the lip gloss 
and what did I do? Oh, wait, I don't even know what I did with the, I might have took them out of the room with me, I don't know. I can't find them on this desk, but anyway, I used this yellow liner on my eyes from Juvia's place called Sunflower. It's so gorgeous. It just brightened up the look, and I used this Juvia's place, the Rebel Honey Eyeshadow Palette. It was these four colors. This is what's on my eyes. I think it looks gorgeous. Like, this is a, a perfect shadow to exit summer and end to the full it is gorgeous I love it I hope you guys love this makeup if I forgot to mention anything that I used that was new I will definitely have everything linked in the description box thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far in a video I really hope that you subscribe to the channel please continue to watch my videos I'm, I'm gonna have a playlist linked on the screen so you can click on it and I will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching thank you to all of my subscribers feel free to give me comments and suggestions I know I said I was doing a no buy but there's so many sales going on right now on makeup products that I want to try so I am buying makeup it's one thing that I did use and I forgot to mention okay I use this physicians formula butter bronzer this is a new product they finally have a bronzer that's dark enough for me to see so I was able to use this bronzer on my face today it looks gorgeous this is the darkest color bronzer that I've ever seen physician formula have so I was very excited when I saw it and I ordered this on Amazon yesterday but I'm sure that you can find this in any of your local drugstores these colors are kind of light but I can probably use them for like setting under my eye or something like that but these are the powder smells wonderful first of all and it looks gorgeous on the skin <laughs> other thing I did use this Juvia's Place volume 1 blush duo this is what it is I use the darker color back here and I use the lighter color on my cheeks and then I mix the shimmer eyeshadow from the palette with the wet n wild precious petals highlighter and I put that on my face and then I went over it with the shimmer shadow that I use for my inner corner highlight with the shit yeah it's a shimmer shadow I use this inner corner highlight on my cheeks just to give it a little warmth to the face and the tip of my nose and that is it guys I hope you enjoyed the video I hope that you love the makeup I love these yellow like amber color eyes they look gorgeous let me know your thoughts and I will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching